So I'm gonna give you the disclaimer early in this video. If you hate blood or you get squeamish about it, even if it's pixelated, even if it's Fortnite, right now is your time to leave. I'll see you in the next video. But this one is for people who wanna create blood using VFX post-process to create a immersive bleed out sequence. It's a little bit more on the mature side. I just wanna give you guys that warning ahead of time so there's no confusion. In this video, I will also be showing you how to fill out the IARC rating questionnaire properly so you don't get your island taken down if you incorporate this mechanic into your experience. Hopefully by now, the people who don't like blood is out of the video. Again, I'm giving you that time right now. Good, now that you're gone, what's up? I'm Grant Screens and I'm back with a brand new video. Obviously you know what the video is about, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and join the Discord down below. We are starting with the IRAC portion of the video first before I show any blood, because I'm still giving you guys time to leave the video if this is not for you. If you don't have a creator code, jump to this time step to start the actual video. Navigate over to your creator portal, log in. It's the same as your Epic account, log into that. Go to your project that you're trying to publish. Go to your private version. Every island needs to have a IRC rating filled out for it. Take the quiz, it's going to ask for your email so they can tell you if you got accepted or denied, which mostly you're gonna get denied. In the IARC rating, the app type is game. Violence, blood, and gore. Obviously, with this mechanic, you're going to have to say yes. I'm gonna just go down, order how I do for mechanics and, and settings, and just follow along and you'll be able to, to click them as you go. Click violence or implied violence against humans. Depending on the map, you're gonna put, if it's a fantastical setting or if it's a realistic setting, which a lot, that's what zombies is kind of. I will put realistic. Does the game have a pixelated or childlike style? It's Fortnite, so yes, it does. How would you describe the reactions to violence? Put realistic. How is the violence presented in game? You wanna put often predicted from a close-up perspective. What is the level of blood or gore associated with this violence? Make sure that this is high. It's not moderate, that there's a lot of blood. Does the game take place in a realistic or historical war setting? Depending on your map, if you have a mechanic like this, you're probably making a realistic or a not maybe historical, say if you're in trenches, this would be really cool to see. So I would put yes to that. Can innocent or defenseless characters be seriously injured or killed? That is a yes, without consequence. Are there any fierce sounds, sinister or intimidating characters in dark overtones associate, bleh, associated with this violence? You wanna put yes, it's zombies. Fear, I would say there could be a level of fear in this. Now that you're adding this mechanic, so yes. This isn't really scary, it could be more horrifying, and you could put often. Uh, is this an intense or unrelenting sense of imminent threat? Yes. It really does depend on the game, so answer these as honestly as you can, because you can get your island taken if you don't answer these honestly. And everything else, put a no to. No, 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 no. Press next. So it's gonna give you an overview of everything that you put. It's going to show you, and this is just how it is if you have blood in your island. It's a mature island. It's restricted in a lot of places. This is mature, this is extreme violence. This is horror, this is, this is not playable by some people, but realistically, a lot of the accounts that people are playing on are already 18 plus anyways. And this is just to protect younger children from seeing blood or create like scary sounds, anything like that. Because you don't want to horrify people or people who don't like blood. You do not want to put this in front of them if they can't handle it, if they don't want that. This is just your obligation as a creator to protect yourself and the people that are playing your game. Again, you better be gone by now. If you don't really want to see blood in this, even if it's pixelated, you better be gone. I'm gonna be mad if you're not. But let's jump into the mechanic that you guys have been waiting for. Now, this is the this is what you guys have been waiting for to see. Like, is it really as graphic as I'm trying to? Is it as graphic as you think? And I think, yes. So here we go. Here it is. Hey, that's that's fire to me. I set up the first person down state in the last video. So if you haven't, go check that out. This is a continuation off of that video, but it's a whole different mechanic. So you're down, there's blood, you can kind of see it as you're crawling. Um, 
obviously you hear the sounds, it's, it's very tense. There's a blood trail that is following you as you're spewing blood. It doesn't look like realistic blood, obviously this is very Fortnite-y, but it's a very more mature version of going down than there is already in Fortnite. Let's learn how to make the bleed out sequence. Okay, so the revive device and the downed camera is something we set up literally last video. So go check that out. And this is all possible in 1.0 and 2.0. And I can only imagine with the tools of 2.0, this could be a lot more gruesome, a lot more realistic, a lot more immersive. Like it can really go crazy with that one. This is the 1.0 version, but again, you can also do the same thing in UEFN. We're gonna start with the sounds. In your island settings, pull out an audio player. Place that down and name this Injured Audio. Start audio when activated, turn that on. We're using the Spooky Scared Male, but if you have more realistic sounds you can port in in UEFN, do that. But this should be the person almost whimpering, almost being like scared, like, oh, like I'm, I'm down, like that hurts, like this is not comfortable. That needs to be that audio. You can mess with the volume to make that feel how you need to. The setting that's important is play location. Play this at the instigating player and you also want to play this for everyone to hear. When you get close to them to revive them, you're going to hear them like kind of whim whimpering like, oh, I need help, give me up, like heal me. Make sure the volume attenuation is on. Attenuation minimum distance is five meters and the attenuation fall off distance is about 10 meters. That is the maximum range that people will hear this around you. you want to sync player audio on. Okay, so heartbeat. Pull out a fresh uh, audio player and name this Heartbeat Audio. Restart when activated on. The audio we're using is Spooky Scared Heartbeat. Volume, I put two, because I think that you, you want to hear that heartbeat a little bit more than you hear everything else. Can be heard by, you want to put instigator only. So the person who initiated this, who went down, should be the only person hearing the heartbeat. You want to play this at local player. Instigator only, local player, because this is only in their head, this is in their body. This is the player's perspective. You want them to hear this, no one else. Everybody else is gonna hear them kind of breathing all loud and, and whimpering and all that. But this part, you want this to be more personable. Playback speed, I put 1.2, it's a little bit faster because obviously their heartbeat speeding up. Your fade in is instant, but your fade out, make that five seconds. After you get up, you want that to kind of linger a little bit. As you're getting up, as you're recovering, you want to kind of hear that slowly fade out and I'm like, oh, I'm getting back to myself. Stereo spread 200, enable volume attenuation, turn that off. Sync player audio, you can turn that on, off. I don't think that matters, but turn it on just in case. Okay, this next one I wanna call blood spill audio. This is when they first initially go down. This is the sound of them almost like losing blood a little bit. This is that, that initial sound. Restart audio and activate it on. Audio is a spooky dunk tank. Volume, put at two, can be heard by, put instigator only. Play at local player. Playback speed, 1.88, which is I think two, one or two up from the normal. Stereo spread, 200. Enable volume attenuation, turn that off. Sync player audio, turn that on, and that is it for this audio. Go into your content drawer and pull out a VFX creator. This is the blood. Even, again, it doesn't look crazy, it doesn't look serious, but this is the blood. Place it down and name this dripping blood VFX. Start effects when enabled, turn that to yes. So this is gonna be interesting because we have to actually try to make this. Sprite shape, it should start on circles, but what I want you to do is from circles, triangles, whatever it is, start on, go to the bottom, and it should be the splatter. Sprite size, put that to one. Sprite duration, one. Uh, main color. For the main color, we want to use the second color on the red, right? Not the super bright red, but just regular, like the medium red. Main color brightness, I put 7.7. .7. Sprite speed, zero. Effect gravity, I put 20. Randomness, 25. Keep size over time, put yes. The effect generation amount, 15%. Time between loops, put zero. Spawn zone shape, make sure this is point. Stick to player, put yes. Spawn on player body part, put center. Place down another VFX creator, name this floor blood VFX. The sprite shape should be soft circle, which is the very first one. Sprite size, put two. Sprite duration, put this to the max. Put this at five. Sprite rotation alignment, put planar. Main color, use that same color we used for the other blood, which is the second red. 
Main color brightness, put 2.7. Use secondary color, put yes. Secondary color, go into it and do the next darkest red. Secondary color brightness, put 1.7. Sprite speed, 0%. Effect gravity is 0%. Randomness is also 0%. Keep size, put no. Size over time is 275. Effect amount generation is 5%. Loop duration, 1.1. In between loops, zero. Spawn zone shape, point. Stick to player, yes. Spawn on player body part, turn that to base. Keep effect on respawn, please make sure that is no. In your content drawer, pull out a post-process device. Place it down and name this downed post-process. Post-process effect, put vignette. Effect duration, put five seconds. Starting strength is zero. This is a must because you do not want this to start immediately. This has to build. Blend in duration, put 0.5. Blend out duration is 0 0.5 as well. Place another one down. Name this dizzy post process. Post process effect is radio blur. Effect duration is 7.0. Starting strength is 0, 0.0. If it starts immediately, then something's wrong. Go back to this part. It should never jump from one to another. Blend in duration is 0 0.5. Blend out duration is also 0 0.5. In your content drawer, pull out a timer device. Place it down and name this injured timer. This is gonna be the timer that's going to repeat the sounds, repeat the blur and the, the, the distressed feel. Timer duration, eight seconds. Apply to, put player only. Completion behavior is restart. Display time in seconds only. This is just a dev thing I always do. Show on HUD, turn that to no. Audio effects, you don't wanna hear anything, so turn that off. You don't wanna hear things from the timer, you only wanna hear things from the sounds we set up. If instigating player is not present, make sure that is empty, empty instigator. You do not want any random person to just acquire everything that is just putting, like that's getting put on one player because they're down. Just make sure that this doesn't go anywhere else. Go into your content drawer and pull out an elimination manager. Place it down and name this player death manager. Valid on self-elimination, make sure that is on. Target type, player only. Okay, we got through the devices. Now we just set up the mechanics and we're set, we're good to go. We're only going to go into three devices to connect all of these devices together. Starting with the revive device. We're gonna add one thing at a time. Do not rush this process. This is, you're making magic right now. You do not wanna rush this, okay? You got this, you got this. On player down, send event two. Down, post process. We are going to blend in for instigator. Injured audio, play. Heartbeat audio, play. Blood spill audio, play. Dizzy post process, blend in for instigator. Floor blood, VFX, spawn at player, and that same VFX, floor blood VFX, we're going to start effect at player. Just in case it didn't start when you put it and you spawned it on them, we're going to actually start it. Dripping blood VFX, you want to spawn at player. Also dripping blood VFX, you want to start effect at player. Injured timer, the injured timer you want to start. On player, revive, send event two, down post process, you want to blend out for instigator. It's basically just removing everything that we, we just added. Injured audio, we're going to stop. Heartbeat audio, we're going to stop. Dizzy post process, we're going to blend out for instigator. Floor blood VFX, we're going to remove effect from player. Dripping blood VFX, we're going to remove effect from player as well. Injured timer, we want to reset. This is going to stop the timer. This is gonna to, to make sure it doesn't continue that cycle. Head over to your injured timer. Start when receiving from. Injured timer on success. This is going to loop it, just in case it doesn't loop. Reset when receiving from. Player spawner on player spawned. So every spawn pad that's in the game that the player has the option to respawn on, make sure that this is set up where it resets off of all of those because say if it doesn't catch on certain things because it's Fortnite, this is make sure that it's set up on all of these spawn pads you can also reset when receiving from the player death manager and this is on eliminated on success send event to 
downed post process blend in for instigator injured audio we want to play heartbeat audio we want to play dizzy post process we want to blend in for instigator injured timer we want to start the last device player death manager on eliminated send event two down post process blend out for instigator injured audio we're going to stop heartbeat audio we're going to stop blood spill audio we're going to stop dizzy post process we're going to blend out for instigator injured timer we're going to reset let's go over a couple of tests so can wait for the zombies but i'm gonna just go for it when you're down you should get that immediate everything everything should go the vignette the blur the blood you can kind of see as i'm crawling forward which is so cool so what i also like about this is when you stop the blood just fills. Like, tell me that's not a cool feature. When you're looking down at your hands, you see the blood dripping and then you just see it fill. Ah, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> when we go into the revive. There we go. Everything has stopped. The heartbeat, again, you put the delay on the heartbeat so you can hear it as you're getting up. Let's go down again and let's just fully get eliminated so then we can see everything just stop. Okay, you see everything is stopped. And there we go. We are respawned. Nothing is going. Nothing's repeating. If you're just watching, you can't be just a watching kind of subscriber anymore. One of those viewers. You gotta subscribe. <laughs> you gotta subscribe after that. I'm just saying. They gave me Battle Stars how I hooked y'all up. Hey, quit playing with me. <laughs> that is it for today's video. I know this is a lot in this video, so just be patient ask questions in the comment section because this may take a couple times to set up you might miss a couple things really be diligent in doing your best to really go through this thorough i know it's it might be boring to be a developer it might suck but i'm here to try to make this a little better a little better experience let's see people innovate and build off of what i'm working on if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and join the discord i'm always open for questions if you really serious about game development in fortnite because it's a fun place to be Hopefully I can help you guys with that. But as always, thank you for stopping by. Hope you guys have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace! And did I tell you to use code Frozen Army Item Shop? Make sure you do. No spaces. Please, no spaces.